What's up guys? So in the first vlog, I noticed I never gave you guys a real intro. So I am Danny. I am one of the hosts of Walt's Think Tank. And uh, yeah, so today we are out in downtown Disney, trying to get a little Disney fix in for the week. So yeah, we'll uh, do some little shopping, check it out, maybe get some grub. So yeah, welcome back to episode two. Hope you enjoy it. So for the 20 of you who watched the last vlog, you'll know we were in the back lot shop last week. Uh, but we're still gonna check it out, so we'll find something new. But yeah, it might not be anything new, so I'll try to get some good footy for you guys. Update, I'm finding new merch. Get ready for these nice exterior shots. Table runner, the same thing as a tablecloth. Whatever it is, it is 60 bucks. Check it out, right over here. Right, yeah, here, point correctly. Got ourselves a cloth. <laughs> Be some evil Carolinas right here. Silver, I mean she's ten dollars. Imagine them coming to your door singing you some Christmas carols. <laughs> Oof. I don't think I'd have clean underwear after that. <laughs> but these are new but not so new because like two three weeks ago there was a shopping reservation experience where you can get like this uh, the partner statue but a vinyl little toy and then like a, a popcorn box from like the 1950s from when the park first opened but yeah it looks like they're going on sale out here at the backstage lot they've also done a similar thing with like the reservation exclu exclusive shopping experiences with the pins over here so all these pins were a part of that exclusive shopping experience and I guess they just didn't sell out of all of them so now they're here in the back lot there she is the park we all want to get into I think if I zoom in, I can see a cart. Oh man, what I wouldn't give. Oh, look at that, I cast remember running. No running. Um, <laughs> what I wouldn't give to be a cast member who was able to go into the parks. Dang. Oh, I miss this place so much. If the parks were open, what would be the one thing you guys would want to do right now? Would you want to like grab a drink at the Tropical Hideaway or Take a cruise down Radiator Springs, you know? Check out the land. What, what's the one experience you guys miss the most from the parks here in California? Let me know down in the comments. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing over here? Back here, we got Christmas light. We got reeds or whatever those are called hanging up on like the monorail bridge down Buena Vista Street. It's gonna be so sick when they open. It'll be looking like Christmas. Oh, we got some, got some wreathing or what, well, you know, we got festive stuff is the point. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so awesome. I can't wait to get in there.
What do you guys think of these jammies? I think they're jamming. <laughs> this is a first I've never seen. Disney offered in chones, but most importantly to me, the chones aren't like individually wrapped. Like I can just come up and touch it, but I'm not going to. But like anyone can just touch them. Uh, I prefer if they are wrapped. I think these boxers are incredible guys. What do you think about them? So we're here on a Tuesday and I really wasn't expecting to find a lot, but I'm actually finding a lot more than I thought I would. Like over here, check it. There are these fuzzy sweaters and they're like, they got some, ooh, I don't know what that is, but if it's not felt, it is now. That is nice. Classic Disneyland logo. That is so soft. It's like a mother's hug, guys. Fresh baked and ordinary ventures already covered this, but look at it's a train and a train. It's like a little trainception over here. Look at Disney doing the most with the magic. Love that. You guys know me. Actually, you don't. It's only the second episode, but I love a good nutcracker. I go nuts for the nutcracker. Boom. I apologize, this vlog has slowly turned into a how many puns can Danny make in one trip to downtown Disney. So, sorry about that guys. <laughs> Side, and I'm using a mic, really trying to avoid getting copyright striked for this music playing down here. <laughs> yeah, I think we're about to go eat now. So, catch you guys with a little food review too. So it wasn't much of a food vlog. Uh, <laughs> We really didn't even get that much food. We kind of just snacked on some stuff. Evan got a milkshake and I bought like a $7 side of fries. So yeah, that's what you can get at Black Tap. $7 side of fries, isn't that awesome? We love downtown Disney and its food prices. <laughs> Weekly check-in in the Star Wars trading post. Not much new to report. Uh, I mean, some t-shirts, but I mean like Ordinary Adventures, Fresh Break, you guys already covered that, so not much for me to, oh, well, hey, check it out, I lied. A little new stand right here. So it was a new product, a little canteen back here, new jacket, and a new satchel. <laughs> Get some ice cream. 
because the Sonstra has some new flavors. I got some roasted peach and sage cornbread stuffing. Oh, I'll try it out and tell you how it goes. She may look normal, but she tastes extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can hear this but I can hear it subtly down Buena Vista Street they're playing music and it's getting me hyped for this this is gonna be so awesome oh man it's gonna be so good oh it's ever so slight guys but I can hear the music of Buena Vista Street playing you know seeing these wreaths up here on the bridge is getting me in the Christmas spirit and might I say, Buena Vista Street, wreaths of Christmas spirit. Ooh, oh yeah, one more in the bag. <laughs> so that concludes today's episode. Uh, thanks for watching the vlog. For the 20 of you who returned, thanks for watching it again. Uh, I've been Danny, this has been Walt's Think Tank, and uh, see you guys next week. Take it sleazy. <laughs>